Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I have a huge makeup haul to share with you guys. So much sales and so many sales, you guys. Pre-spring sale, spring break? Oh no, spring cleaning sales, spring sales. I just got sucked into it and bought a lot. That's all I can say. So let's get into it. First is JD Glow Cosmetics. I never miss a chance shopping uh, JD Glow Cosmetics whenever they have a sale. So um, this time, I did not. I love their eyeshadows. That's why I usually go to them. But this time, I felt that there are so many glow products out of the market. I I wanted to try a lot of them, and a lot of the products are again so expensive, you guys. So. I thought, let me just first try the ones that are not that expensive. And if I still don't like it, maybe I'll just venture out after that. So this is I'm Glowing Shimmering Mist. So this is like a face mist with a lot of shimmers. And this is in the shade, like a bronzy shade. And this is Shimmy. And then I also bought another shade, which is Glisten, which is a lighter color. Much lighter, actually. This I just realized once I got it. It's not a shade that I would spray it on my face. It's it's definitely lighter and it's more cool toned. It's like it has more silvery shimmer in it. So what happened was the product as such is really good. It actually gives a very glowy finish. But the spray just stopped working after like five times. This particular bottle, the bronze bottle, which is the shade Shimmy. It just stopped working, you guys. The first five times or six times I sprayed it worked. It also went on very well, but it just stopped working altogether. And then this is um, the rose gold shade, Leaks Like Crazy. Hang on, let me just show you guys the first hand, um, like a demo of how it leaks. I'm just shaking this. And do you guys see how much product is left? Like, there's so much coming out. Hang on. Do you see that? There's so much on the cap. Do you see that? So much on the cap. It leaks like crazy. Even when I open it and, like, spray it, like, when I tilt the bottle in an angle and when I spray it, it just leaks like crazy. <laughs> Not very happy about that, honestly. And then another kind of uh, glow products that I bought is their Enhancing Drops. This is just... Very similar to Cover FX's Custom Enhancer Drops. You can just mix it in with your moisturizer, your foundation or whatnot. And you can just, you know, it sets very, very quickly. Let me just, all three are very light for my sh my skin tone. Because the reason I went ahead and bought it is because I don't plan on using these on my face. Uh, I'm, I, I specifically bought these to use, like mix it in with my moisturizer and apply it on my legs most probably so um so if so i do not plan on applying these in like a very very concentrated or saturated way so that's why i did not mind buying a lighter shade and i so yeah i do realize these are way way light for me and they're not suitable to be used on my face per se but yeah but they set right away you guys so so quickly do you see there's no transfer at all they set right away and i do like these products especially if you want to like just um buy something for a less price because you're just going to uh, just use it on your body and that's probably only when the climate and the weather is very hot so you don't have to spend so much money on other like expensive brands. You know, if, if that's what you want, you can definitely buy these. And then I also bought the mixing medium from them, which is, I think it converts what eyeshadow or, or whatever kind of makeup you use in conjunction with this into waterproof. It doesn't budge, it stays put. So yeah, it's a really good product. I did use it and it's also, it works really well. And also I bought... Um, a highlighter I do like JD Glow's highlighters they are very good but unfortunately this time I picked the wrong shade and they didn't ship it properly you guys uh, the pan completely it just came out um, and wrong shade too you know so all in all this JD Glow cosmetics is not like a very <laughs> I'm not extremely happy with it so yeah 
that's very very white and then uh, I had to pick up you know eyeshadows so I had these three large circular pants are from Jerry Glow let me just swatch them for you guys they are very very nice you guys they're so foiled and metallic olive gold and this is more gold and this is like a beautiful champagne gold shade very beautiful eyeshadows all three i'm very very happy with these three oh wait it kind of similar to this like this gold like olive gold that you see on my dress so it's uh i'm extremely happy with the eyeshadows as always but you know these sprays was such a huge disappointment these aren't expensive at all. I think all of the products, they retail for less than $15, you guys. And on top of that, there was a 40% off. So I did not spend a lot. But still, um, I don't know, JD Glow always puts out some such good, great quality products. So I was just a little disappointed in them. Since we have, we're looking at this, let's just complete all the shadows we have here. I had to buy Inglot again. These three super pretty colors are from Inglot. Let me just tell you guys what the shades are. And I have these colors actually on my eyes today. This tiny bit of purple that you see here is from this shade. Um, this is 386. Hang on. 386 so pigmented you guys i did not have to build up a lot just two layers just completely gave me like a fully opaque such beautiful uh pigmentation and they blend as you apply definitely check out inglot if you're looking for some colorful eyeshadows and this is 288 um I think Nikki Tutorials used this particular apple green shade when she did like a green um, challenge, green eyeshadow challenge or something. And she did not leave the shade color in her description box. But I kind of figured it out and I picked it up. So very, very beautiful. This is the green I have in the center, but it's kind of faded. Um, but it actually applied very well. It blended well. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful green. And the green is 288. If you're interested in a green like this, it's a beautiful apple green. And then this is a color 290. This is very similar to ColourPop's 143. And that guy never lasts on my lids. It It's super pigmented and it blends, but ColourPop's 143 just doesn't last well. And it kind of turns reddish somehow, but this is very good, you guys. So these are three Inglot shades that I bought. So pretty. And then, um, oh, I also picked up JLo's collab with Inglot, one of her um, highlighters. I don't know why I did not pick it up early, earlier, you guys. This is a loose highlighter. And I don't, why didn't I think of it earlier? Because Inglot's loose powders, you know, loose eyeshadows are so amazing. They are one of the best. And that's the only best I know. So the reason I say one of the best, I'm just giving it the benefit of doubt. That's there's some other brand. It's also equally good as Inglot's loose eyeshadows. That's why I'm saying that. But I haven't seen another brand that's as good as them. But this is a loose um, highlighter and it can be used, it's a face, eyes, body highlighter. So it's pretty much Inglot's loose eyeshadows but very finely milled and easily blendable and works with any kind of a brush kind of a, in, a, in a pigment and it's so fantastic. This is the color I have and I promise you guys I did not over apply it at all. I just picked up the slightest amount and I just blended it out, you guys. And it's so intense and it's blinding. So easy. I love it. I already ordered the other shades. It comes in two shades. And the one I have is Luminous. This is actually called Live in the Highlight. That's the name of the product. And this is the shade Luminous. 
luminous yeah and you get 2.5 grams of product and it does come with a puff because it is like a body highlighter as well so let me just try to scoop out little so that i can show you guys swatches hopefully even the little bit i'm just taking such a little amount and let's see if it swatches if i'm able to like blend it out and show you guys how oh yeah <laughs> i told you guys right i just took the slightest amount and see how blinding it is you guys it's so beautifully formulated such high quality do not miss out on this please do not miss out on this i just took the slightest amount and i just used it it blends so beautifully does it is not streaky at all hang on let me do i'm just closing it up it's not streaky at all as i blended it out do you guys see this it's not at all streaky and it blends so well such an easy product to use forget artist couture forget any other loose loose highlighter this is like the best i've used you guys and it does come with a puff i know you could use any highlighter as a body highlighter but it comes with a puff and it reminds me that it that i should use and this when it adheres to the body it sticks so well it does not move after that i'm telling you guys i did use this let me just show it to you guys a little bit and i don't have patience right now to apply it all the, all the way and show it to you guys just slight do you see that slight slight kind of a wet look that going on here that's that anyways i love it i'm like i said i bought the other shade this is a darker shade and actually although it's so light on my face it does leave like a uh like a dark streak so technically it is a darker shade for my skin so usually darker shades don't stand out so beautifully on my skin tone because it's darker it kind of blends in unless it's a extremely reflective highlighter it doesn't stand out so imagine how the lighter shade would look on on a darker skin so if you love blinding highlighters pick it up please pick it up and that was 23 dollars i think 2.5 grams of product and yeah i think that's all i bought from inglot these three shades and this highlighter and there's um another highlighter which is on the way so we finished jd glow and um inglot now let's talk about sydney grace i bought their eyeshadows guys uh, if you watch my makeup that i want to try in this year i featured this brand in the in the video and i was very interested in it because this is very quickly becoming so popular and everybody has good things to say about them and their price range is very so close to colourpop's pressed eyeshadows and i'm not like a very great fan of colourpop's pressed powder eyeshadows i adore their super shock eyeshadows they are one of the best you guys and for the price they are incredible but the pressed powder eyeshadows they're all right i wouldn't say they are great um but a lot of people keep saying for the price it's amazing and everything but still i don't know but these that's why i was really looking uh, forward to trying this particular brand because the pricing is close and if these are really good i think i might stop buying from colourpop for their pressed eyeshadows that is i will always purchase their super shock but uh let me quickly do some swatches because i want to like dedicate a video specifically for, towards um swatching and reviewing these i have used these shadows and reviews coming up very quickly um i was very interested in the mattes actually than their shimmers uh let's see that's really good so two of the mats that i picked up and that's a shimmer so far i'm very interested in them and impressed as well but uh they do have like a flat four dollar shipping rate so whatever amount you pay you have to spend you know um four dollars more there's like no like a cap to for for the consumer to like get free shipping to win free shipping this you have to pay for shipping though so there's i think that's a definite downside because four dollars extra 
us a lot right yeah that's something that i wasn't very happy about but i definitely wanted to try and see because they have a lot of other products they have cream eyeshadows and so on and so forth so so far they swatch beautifully you guys and the pigmentation is good i'm i, I just want to test it out a little bit more because uh, before i give them glowing reviews but so far i'm very happy about them so yeah let's move on to melt i've already reviewed the beautiful gemini palette so here she is um if you're interested i don't want to swatch it because there are a lot of shadows here and i have already done an in-depth video it's such a beautiful palette um so yeah um let me just swatch this green maybe next to these shadows this is no this is way more green right this is more green than these two shadows just i was just curious to see anyways um and this was not the only thing that i bought from melt they had like a not it was a good sale if you ask me because they're five pan stacks usually retail for 58 dollars and they had slashed the price to 40 dollars that's a that's a good reduction if you ask me and then their four pan stacks usually retail for 48 dollars and they had slashed the price down to 30 dollars so i ended up buying two stacks yeah <laughs> I had always uh, wanted to buy the baby girl stack. So this is the baby girl stack. I have one more on the other side. And I also bought this, the, the packaging. What is this called? So it's just called Milk Cosmetics Pro. So I will do a review on this. Again, I haven't used all the shades. I have this shade in the outer V of my eyelids today. So, uh, but I will do a review very, very, very quickly, you guys. I know this one uh she's in the party stack this is the entire stack they have four shadows and i bought this for 30 dollars this is not brand new but the baby girl stack is brand new actually uh, i think that's a that's their latest stack but i want to do it because these are expensive you guys so expensive so you know and a review always is helpful especially with expensive products so I will do a review on them very, very quickly. Oh, I didn't show you guys the last one. Hang on. There was one more uh, shade from the stack, which I, I told you guys, this is the last one from the baby girl stack. I am oh, using this as my outer V color, this reddish brown shade. Um, and I've had that this makeup on for say not say let me just tell you guys for how long uh, five and a half hours now and yeah I'm liking how well it's actually holding up the um, uh, you know it hasn't faded if you ask me it's it just looks true to color and it it's a medium tone mid tone reddish brown so it's not too too dark on my skin tone but review coming up very soon then what else let's move on to colored rain colored rain again had such a good sale again um they had uh their both their uh, eyeshadow palettes the uh, queen of hearts and cheers to the beauty palette they retail for their full price is 50 dollars um but for the sale they had slashed it down to 35 dollars that's actually not bad at all you guys and then on top of that i applied the you know the affiliate code discount just this there are like millions of those floating around in the internet so i ended up getting a really good deal on both the palettes i picked up both i was like i was in the mood to purchase and why not both you know uh so we have the queen of hearts palette um very good quality i mean i kind of knew that beforehand um this is good too you guys this is good too but um i'm still um testing them out and i kind of feel the eyeshadows are kind of on the thinner side i don't know mm, i think their eyeshadows used to be denser i do have few of their singles uh, i think gumbo or something like that it's called it's a very dirty teal green color and their single eyeshadows Correct me if I'm wrong. I 
I feel they were more denser and the mats in here are kind of more thinner in consistency but they all the more they just blend well they like appear really intense on my skin but still you know I, I, it's just something that I observed uh, let me know if you're interested in doing a review because these are very not new but uh, I'm just still testing them out I'm not like um, all the way in I, I don't know for sure if I can so far I do like them but still I'm still test I'm still in the testing mode so let me know if you want to do because there are already so many reviews on these products so I just don't want to keep repeating it let me just remove these swatches and yeah I made a huge expensive uh, purchase from Illa Masca this is my first time purchasing from them and I've used all the shadows they are so amazing you guys they are incredibly good quality top-notch quality on par with Natasha Denona matte eyeshadows Viseart sugar pill and lime crimes Venus XL the reason I specifically say Venus XL is because that's the only product eyeshadow I used from uh, lime crime uh, and that was wow I was blown away by lime crime that particular uh, palettes matte eyeshadow quality they were just phenomenal you guys these are very good and all the colors I have to show you guys are colorful ones um, this is burst so incredible you guys but these are so expensive I hate it so much that these are so expensive uh, they did they, they will break your break the bank if you want to buy them in bulk but if you like one or two colors definitely pick it up do not like uh you, you don't have to worry about the quality because it is there it's amazing so this is burst and this is damon and this is inception so beautiful you guys and the pigmentation is fantastic and these are so true to color on my skin tone and they last you these would just last for on my skin meaning the intensity the the pigment intensity just lasts on my skin for definitely over eight hours you guys they don't go anywhere so beautiful that is the color and then another plum kind of a color and this is livid and this is can can and this is inception so burst damon inception can can c-a-n-c-a-n -C -A -N, that's how it's spelled and livid livid is um you i had to build it up a little bit but when it builds up it really stays put and it's a beautiful eggplant shade but it definitely requires building up and then the last two is pivot which is a such a stunning beautiful green and i can tell you guys without a doubt that this is the best lime green i've ever used so far including sugar pills lime lime green i, I don't know what it's called i think acid green i think it's called acid something i don't recall so including lime crimes uh not lime crime why do i keep saying lime crime a uh, sugar pills sugar pills acid green or acid something you guys um and viziot's uh lime green shade in their brights editorials uh, palette all out of all the lime greens i've used this is the best this is just stays put and I don't have to build it up at all that's the beauty of it it just even on my skin tone just one layer and it just the pigmentation is true to what you see in the pan it's amazing and that is pivot and finally this is the last one I picked up and it's called fled fledgling fledgling is such a beautiful grass green finally I'm very very happy with these and I think I would pick up more definitely without a doubt not i think i will pick up more finally oh not finally i um i have a brand new um brand that i tried and then i have uh, a product from pat mcgrath and that's it that's it i think that's a wrap uh, so yeah let's get uh 
let me finish it soon <laughs> so uh again another brand that i wanted to try in this year the makeup in the the brand that i featured in the makeup that i want to try this year was dawn eyes cosmetics and i did buy from them <laughs> Um, I don't have everything all the shades that I picked up from them to show you guys I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of sneak peek so they this is a very 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 small brand not very popular but their specialty is duochrome loose pigments and there it is <laughs> now not all shadows are like this I have to warn you guys this is just a sneak peek and like a very in a very optimistic way but there are shades that are not as good as this and this is in the shade I'm, I just want to show you guys a little bit of sneak peek this is ravishing uh, there are you know what I don't want to get into details because let me just wait to film that video and then you guys will hear all the details in that video this is another shade that I bought uh, I think this is entrancing this is yellow to like a gold to green I'm not doing proper swatches I'm sorry but um, yeah that is entrancing and then what else did I, I did do ravishing let's do heavenly heavenly is a shade let's do another swatch There you go. It's like a red to orange. Decent orange as I turn my um Yeah. So, um yeah, just a sneak peek of uh I haven't reviewed them completely, but we'll see. There are but just uh again, a sneak peek of the review. Uh, not all shades are like this. Um so finally, I ended up buying a very old product from Pat McGrath, something that I've been just stalking for like two years now. And this is her pigments. What are these called? These are just called uh, the Metal Morphosis 005. 005. And I think she released this like two years ago. And this is the everything. So this is just a pigment. There are... Um, I think eight pieces, eight loose pieces. These originally, oops, I don't want them to fall down. These originally retail for $165, you guys. Um, and then I just could not bring myself to buy it. It First of all, it, this isn't a palette, an eyeshadow palette. And these are just like eight loose things and then an eyeliner. And I don't know, I wasn't like ready to spend... $165 on them now uh, Pat McGrath has slashed the prices to $100 so she's like uh, it's like always on a little bit of sale so these don't retail for $165 anymore she slashed the price to slash the price to $100 and then she also was having a sale a 20% off sale on her website so I bought these for $80 the everything set I uh, I looked at every single review video, you guys. I, I it, this was not a you know a impulse purchase. I saw every single review, every single blog written on this review on the, a blog, and I, I I was like I yeah I need it. I waited a long time and then I still decided I needed it. So this is th there are pigments. This is the pigment I have on my eyes today. A few days ago, I filmed a video where I had this purple and gold, like a purple in the outer and inner corner of the eyelids, and I have like an intense gold pigment in the center of the lids. This was it. Not this, but the gold pigment in this set. Um, so you have pigments, which are very easy to use in my opinion. And then this is the gold one. Gold is just wow. So unbelievably good, you guys. And then where's the other two? The reason I hesitated so much still, even with the discount, is because 
it included silver because I'm paying the price for the silver as well and I don't use silver all that much so I was do I really need to buy this because I buy something that I probably will not use a lot and this is the bronze when the bronze and the copper look very similar but um, the bronze that de definitely is not that red do you see the copper is more red and this is more like a uh, yellow like not yellow more gold so those are the uh, pigments now uh, it also has the its corresponding uh, cream shadows now the cream is actually um, not that intense obviously this is a copper I have used all the cream um, cream products the cream what is it called it's just called cream this is copper cream on the cheeks as a uh, you know, highlighter and I've also topped it off with these pigments the the lighter ones that is the copper and the bronze are actually very dark on my skin they just look like I have like a like a dirt like a line like a streak of dirt on my cheeks so this is bronze and they work so beautifully on my skin you guys as highlighters they're so so good copper and bronze I know they look so close um, yeah but you know including the uh, you know the silver pigment a silver cream on the cheeks it looks it doesn't look odd at all you guys um, the silver cream on my cheeks as highlighter it just looks like I have like a ray of light just focused on my cheek it just looks very natural if you ask me so that is the gold and I don't regret purchasing this at all you guys I'm just enjoying using these so so much and every time I use the that's a silver cream and every time I use these uh, pigments I always use it mix it in with these um, mixing medium mixing liquid this is a Meron mixing liquid that it comes with I always mix it in with this they swatch beautifully and everything but they just come to life when you mix it in with them with these mixing liquids it's actually pretty easy because um, it says hang on I, I think I brought a eyeshadow brush to just to show you guys hang on it's just somewhere inside um it uh, honestly when i was buying it i i really doubted if i would use this mixing with um, mixed in with the you know the pigments but it's actually very very easy to use all i do is i just dip my brush in this a little bit and so i would just dunk my brush in the mixing medium and then what i do is just do this I just kind of dig in a little bit a very tiny bit and as the um, the you know the pigment just comes off like scrape a tiny bit and then just mix it in right here in this itself you can just scrape off a little bit of the pigment and uh, onto another like a metal plate and then mix it in and then apply it on your on your eyes or you could just do it right here as well because I think the pigment is compatible and it is meant to be used with the mixing medium so it it won't like uh, make your pigment go bad or anything your pigment won't ruined uh, won't be ruined so you could just do that as well that's what I do so I would just mix it in just create a little bit of this mixture like this and then just go in and apply it you guys and just for finishing touches I would just dip in a little bit and just pat 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 and that's it today in fact it's not that intense I did not apply it that intense I just applied it with a brush and I didn't like use my finger to apply it or uh, like again to top it off and just to give that very intense look but yeah I mean that with a brush it's so intense and today I have the copper pigment on the eyes so that is the oh I forgot it does come with a dual ended marker like um, this is like the bold side which is like kind of like a slanted tip which is more this is the bold side is a little hard for me to use honestly I'm not used to that kind of a tip and then you have your usual um, 
both are actually quite intense and very black and very opaque so yeah that is it you guys i hope you guys found this video useful um it, this is a long video yes but i wanted to showcase you guys what i bought and just show you guys swatches and mini reviews and everything hope you guys found this video useful and hope you guys enjoyed it uh please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye, -bye.